How do you perceive the state of the marine insurance market right now? Well, Jim, I think that's a great question. Um, you know, following on from the cost of Concordia loss earlier on this year, I think it's a little confused. Um, I think there's uh, obviously some problems and some issues with the results. Um, many underwriters are feeling the pain at the moment, um, but we've still got a huge amount of capacity, and I think that is probably having an impact on perhaps the opportunity to increase pricing. So from that perspective, as I said, I think you know, and there's been some headlines in trade winds that talk about a confused market. Um, I, I was intrigued by one that talked about uh, the mirage at the moment with a hard market mirage, which I thought was a very good uh, analogy on what's going on. So I do think we're in a very difficult place right now. You know, are we ever going to see a hard market again? Um, one could, could question that. Um, if you look at the dynamics, we've got around about $2 billion of hull capacity globally, and uh, only 25% of that's actually been impacted by this recent big loss. So what does that mean? Well, I think time will tell. Um, you know, maybe we may see some changes, some softening, some hardening rather as the, as the year goes on, but I don't think we're going to see an awful lot of uh, dramatic difference, not as we've seen in the past. Is the market changing in any way? Well, um, yes, certainly. And, uh, you know, I've, I've had conversations recently with a number of underwriters who are sort of pulling their horns in a little bit and just really having a good look at what business they want to focus on and what business they don't want to focus on. So I do think there are some changes and we are seeing some, uh, some, some, uh, some of the market actually pulling out, but I don't think it's dramatic, and I don't think it's dramatic enough to really make a big difference on pricing at this stage. Um, but I do think we're in that period where people are having a really good look at what they want to do, what they want to, what portfolio they want to write going forward. Um, underwriters certainly valuing continuity, as should ship owners. Are ship owners facing a challenge in choosing between price or service? Well, that's another really good question. You know, I think, uh, Globally, there are many, many opportunities if, if a ship owner wants to shift his business from uh, a market that he's been with before. As I just said, I, th I do think continuity is an important factor, especially from a claims perspective. Um, so yes, I think they are. I think uh, some of the speeches that we're going to hear over the course of the next two days will talk about the differences between service and paying for service, especially claims service, because claims lead is absolutely crucial. Um, so. I think security is important. Um, how much an individual ship owner is prepared to pay for it is also crucial, especially when we look at um, the sort of economic challenges that are faced by the ship owner community right now.